going into the final round. Katie Hillman, 413-50. Megan Poteet, 411-10. Sussdorf at 406-45. The defending champion, Bittner, at 392.00. This is an incredibly tight top three. Katrina Kane, 387-55. Her total through 11 rounds. Next up, Allison Belcher from Penn. She was seventh going into the round. Her score, 32.40, 385.40. The total, Carly Taylor from Munster, the junior, is next. Say back, one and a half somersault with one and a half twist. Carly dipped her chin, which is a typical gymnastics move. Castle High School senior Jacqueline Cates is next. Divers should note that head position in our sport as opposed to gymnastics is the opposite. Head should be up in diving during a twist as opposed to gymnastics when it's down. Now it gets interesting, heats up a little bit. Fishers, Gail Sustorf, third coming into the round, 406-45 as she approaches the board. All the marbles, front two and a half pike, she knows she drilled it. The only question at this point, are the other seniors gonna be able to answer that? 2.6 on the degree of difficulty and the scores. Good ones, a low of 5.5 five to a high of 7. She scores a lot of 6s and a 6.5, and giving her an overall round of 48.10. Her total score, 454.50. Kate Hillman is up next. Kate slips into second place, maybe just momentarily. The senior from Shenandoah looking to top the leaderboard after this dive. She's a pressure performer. She's a national champion, an age group national champion at the junior level with USA Diving. She's been in pressure situations before. She's got a nice front two and a half pike. She didn't quite ride the board as well as Gail and made a good mid-air correction to put it in. She rolled by the entry a little bit over, a little bit over rotated. 2.6 on the degree of difficulty. Judges scores a low of five to a high of 6.5. Consistent scoring round for her. Caitlin Sotelo from West Lafayette, the junior up next. Front somersault with two twists, pretty well performed. I, I believe Caitlin has some gymnastics experience. Twisting, she does very well. This particular twister, she didn't quite square out of. Courtney Legesti from Munster, the junior is next. Reverse one and a half somersault pike. Courtney didn't quite get her arms through vertical uh, beyond 12 o'clock uh, as she circled them. Therefore, she had to start to dive by pulling her head didn't have enough to pick up her legs and went short of vertical. Scores reflect that, a low of two and a half and a high of 3.5. Next up is uh, Sydney Rickleman from Evansville Wrights. Final dive in her high school career. Beautiful, front one and a half pike. Nice height and position and she made use of her good body lines by showing us them as she went in vertical. Next up, Jacqueline Mitchell from Greenwood, just a sophomore. It's, it's great to see these sophomores uh, they come in here with nothing to lose. They're, there's no, really no pressure on their shoulders. They're very loose, and they do just whatever they can, find out where they are, measure to their peers. And you see what they do, uh, grow stronger or get more shaky as time goes on in their junior and senior year when they know they're near the end of the line. Numbers range from 4.5 to 5.5. Five. The overall number is 28.50. Her total score after 11 rounds, 361.25. Megan Bote from Noblesville approaches now. She has 4.11.10. Trailing Sussdorf with 454.55 and Hillman with 457.70. Needs to nail one here. This is a solid inward one and a half pike. Best one I've seen while I sat here this afternoon. And I don't know if that's gonna be enough to jump ahead, but this is certainly a dive that's gonna push for a, a win. Look at those numbers. The low is seven. The high is 8.5, so rack up a couple of 8s and a couple of 7.5s. An overall round of 56.40, taking her to the top of the board at 467.50. Was last year's state champion. Megan Wenzel, pardon the anticlimactic nature of your dive, Megan, but uh, that was uh, the North Central senior. Had to stand there and watch a pretty good one by Megan Bote. <laughs> In the 5 to 6 range for her. 361-35 her overall score. The defending champion, Katie Bittner, approaches the board now, looking to get herself maybe into the top three with a good dive here. Currently fifth, so she could come back and win it next year. And she knows it. She's looking at top three right now that are all seniors. Very, 
Very well performed front two and a half tuck. A great ride off the board. Mid-air position was a beautiful tight tuck position. That's what the judges are looking for. A little bit of over rotation on the bottom in golf uh, for the IHSA. That's amazing. Pretty impressive. Front two and a half somersault in the tuck position. Well performed. Again, a great mid-air tuck position. Knees in contact with the shoulders, heels on the back of the thighs. This is actually a very very sought after mid-air position for she, divers. She'll be just outside of the top 10, or right around the top 10, we should say. Her overall score for the round, 38 4 the total. Next, Sarah Meisenhelder from Carmel. Back one and a half somersault in the tuck position. A risky dive, really, in the final round. It's a blind entry. Sarah did a nice job with the skill, very accurate and vertical. Pushes her into eighth place. Final dive, Alley Lake from Martinsville High School. Front two and a half somersault in the tuck position. Again, this is, seems to be the most common dive that the ladies have hid to the end if they weren't quite sure if they're going to get a full extension on the finish. There are a lot of rotations here. It is difficult to extend before you hit the water on a dive that has two and a half flips. A low of 2.5 and a high of 4. A scoring round of 21.6. 3.46 her total score. So your champion. As you see on the board there, Megan Poti at 4.67.50. Tony Young rejoins me now from Indiana Swimming. And uh, Tony, uh, the second half of this meet is going to be an interesting one. Of course, uh, you know, Carmel in command in terms of uh, the overall championship. But uh, quite a battle shaping up between those teams uh, around second through fifth. Well, I'm not sure the teams that are going to, that have uh, scored the top 16 in diving, but they're going to make a difference in the team score. I saw two divers from Munster in there. Not sure where they placed, but Munster was currently in fourth place with 55 points. Chesterton in second and Center Grove in third, you know, trying to chase down Carmel. But those diving points may be the difference. You know, each we, we are locked into how many swims each one of the teams have for the remainder of the meet. Diving is uh, one of those events that are going to add points that are kind of icing on the cake for many of these coaches down there in the program may give a little bit of an emotional edge to Munster going into the back half of the meet, knowing that they could be in second. Well, certainly Munster came in. Uh, their two divers were seventh and eighth uh, coming into uh, today's competition. The top 16 competed here today. I'll tell you what, our, our, and I know that you may have talked about this earlier, but our diving in our state is just as, much, just as elite as our swimming program is. A lot of it due to our national training center that we have down here at the Natatorium and, and how the ancillary benefits with age group diving has, has developed. Thank you very much, Mark. We're joined now with Megan Pote from Noblesville, so your senior going out on top. Congratulations that your buddy, uh, Katie Bittner, a junior, she won this event last year. What's it like to keep it in family? Uh, it's amazing. I can't believe that we've done it. We we wanted to go one, two, but Katie had a great day, too, and I just I can't believe what we've done. We had a great year. You're a state champion here in the winter. You are a state champion in the fall with girls' golf. What do you have planned up? Anything playing up your sleeve for the spring? Uh, no, actually, uh, these are my only two sports. So, but this has been my dream since freshman year to win state in two sports. And to do my senior year going out, it's just amazing. Well, congratulations Thank again. You. Thank you very much.